Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Praising Allah in the Quran and Sunnah. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, He is Allah, there is no God but Him. All praise belongs to Him in this world and the next. He is the judgment, and to Him you shall be returned. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The Almighty Allah is the praised one who is alone worthy of praise and thanks for his perfection and majesty and for his graces and blessings. He praised himself from the beginning of time and his creatures praise him forever. Allah said, Allah is self-sufficient and worthy of all praise. Allah also said, Allah is self-sufficient, worthy of all praise. When reviewing the Qur'an, one finds that Allah has started five surahs of the Qur'an with praise due to its great reward. For example, Allah says in the beginning of Surah Al-Fatiha, Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. Surah Al-An'am starts with praise belongs to Allah who created the heavens and the earth and made darkness and light. Yet the disbelievers set up equals to their Lord. In the beginning of Surah Al-Kahf, Allah says, Praise be to Allah who sent down the scripture to his servant and made it an erringly straight. Also Surah Saba starts with praise be to Allah to whom belongs all that is in the heavens and earth and praise be to him in the life to come. He is all the wise, the all aware. Also Surah uh, Fatr starts with praise be to Allah, creator of the heavens and earth, who made angels, messengers with two, three, four pairs of wings. He adds to creation as he will. Allah has power over everything. The Almighty Allah also concluded four chapters of his glorious book with praise. At the end of Surah Safat, Allah says, And praise be to Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. Also at the end of Surah Al-Isra, Allah says, And say, praise belongs to Allah, who has no child, no partner in his rule. He is not so weak as to need a protector. Proclaim his limitless greatness. Surah Az-Zumar ends with true judgment will have been passed between them and it will be said, Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Also Surah An-Naml ends with, Say, Praise belongs to Allah. He will show you his signs to that you will recognize them. Your Lord is never unmindful of what you all do. Praising Allah is one of the most important forms of mentioning the name of Allah, Dhikr, by prophets. The Almighty says about Prophet Nu, when you and your companions are settled on the ark, say, Praise be to Allah who delivered us from the wicked people. Allah reported the statement of Prophet Abraham saying, Praise be to Allah who has granted me Ismail and Isaac in my old age. My Lord hears all requests. Allah also said, we gave knowledge to David and Solomon and they both said, Praise be to Allah who has favored us from many of his believing servants. In addition, praising Allah is also the continued practice of the close angels as the Almighty Allah said, You, Prophet, will see the angels surrounding the throne, glorifying the Lord with praise. True judgment will have been passed between them and it will be said, Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Allah also said, The angels proclaim the praises of the Lord and ask forgiveness for those on earth. Allah is indeed the most forgiving, the most merciful. And in another verse, Allah said, Those angels who carry the throne and those who surround it celebrate the praise of the Lord and have faith in Him. They beg forgiveness for the believers. Our Lord, you embrace all things in mercy and knowledge, so forgive those who turn to you and follow your path. Save them from the pains of hell. The glorious Quran tells us that the people of paradise always praise the Lord for the graces he has blessed 
them with. Allah says in the Quran, they will say, Praise be to Allah who has separated us from the sorrow. Our Lord is truly most forgiving, most appreciative. Allah also said they will say, Praise be to Allah who has kept his promise to us and given us this land as our own. Now we may live whenever we please in the paradise. How excellent is the reward of those who labor. In another verse, Allah also said, Their prayer in it, paradise, will be glory be to you, Allah, their greeting, peace. And the last part of their prayer, Praise be to God, Lord of the worlds. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his family, companions, and whoever follows their, their guidance to the day of judgment. When contemplating the sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, one realizes that our Prophet, peace be upon him, guided us to the virtue and importance of praising Allah. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Purity is half of Iman, faith. Alhamdulillah, all praise and gratitude belong to Allah, fills the scales. And subhanAllah, how far is Allah from every imperfection? And Alhamdulillah, all praise and gratitude belong to Allah, fill that which is between heaven and earth. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, He who recites in the morning and in the evening the statement, SubhanAllah wa bihamdihi, Allah is free from imperfection, and I begin with praising him, 100 times will not be surpassed on the day of resurrection by anyone with better deeds that, than one who utters the same words or, or utters more of these words. Allah the also the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, There are two statements that are light for the tongue to remember, heavy in the scales, and are dear to the merciful. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al-azim. Glory be to Allah, and His is the praise, and Allah the greatest is free from imperfection. Also our Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us to pray Allah, to praise Allah in all cases and in all circumstances. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah is pleased with his slave who eats a meal and praises him for, for, for it, and takes a drink and praises him for it. Also our Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us to say, Praise be to Allah who has clothed me with this garment and provided it for me. Though I was powerless myself and incapable in another hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When a man's child dies, Allah the Exalted asks his angels, Have you taken out the life of the child of my slave? And they reply in the affirmative. He, glory be to him, then asks, Have you taken the food of his heart? And they reply in the affirmative. Thereupon he asks, what did my slave say? They say, he praised you and said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We belong to, an, to Allah, and to him we shall return. Allah says, build a house for my slave in the paradise, and name it Baytul Hamd, the house of praise. O Lord, make us among those who praise you. We ask Allah to protect Egypt, and raise his flag high among all countries of the world.